Described as one of the great cities of the world, Beijing is this year's setting for the 2009 Barclays Asia Trophy. Now an established part of the Premier League fixture calendar, this is the fourth time that the tournament has taken place and promises to serve up a veritable feast of football for the people of Beijing. The four-team knockout tournament, which will feature Barclays Premier League sides West Ham, Hull City and Tottenham Hotspur, plus local Super League side Beijing Guoan, will take place on the 29th and 31st of July at the Workers' Stadium. The first teams to arrive at Beijing International Airport were West Ham United and Hull City. Phil Brown's side confounded many doubters with their heroics last season in the Barclays Premier League and have not come to the Forbidden City just for the sightseeing. No problem. The Tigers are here with every intention of claiming the trophy. However, a tricky opening game against the home side, Beijing Guoan, is certain to prove a stern test as they continue their preparations for the new season. By contrast, West Ham's first match is against rather more familiar opponents. Bitter London rivals Tottenham Hotspur are their first challenge. And although the Derby encounter will be taking place more than 5,000 miles from London, you can be sure it will be played with the usual passion and commitment. As the two teams settled into unfamiliar surroundings after the long flight, it was a chance for the players to relax. But there was no respite for Hammers boss Gianfranco Zola as he took time out to answer a few questions from some local school children. Kids are very important for, for, for the future of the game, so it's, uh, it's always a pleasure to spend some time with them. Tournaments like the Barclays Asia Trophy are important in the development of the Premier League's global appeal. The three English sides will all want a confidence-boosting victory as the new season approaches. And for local side Beijing Guoan, it's a chance to show how far football in Asia, and particularly in China, has progressed.